everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Scratch projects, put them on your website. It doesn't matter if you're using Google Sites or if you're coding with HTML. So check this out. First, you got to finish your projects on Scratch. You've got to make sure that your website is or your Scratch projects is published and um, you are confirmed to be a Scratch you know, coder. That kind of is in the how to, the, the first video that I ever made doing Scratch. Um, you can probably check it out. I think the link's probably popping up. But, um, if you haven't, just kind of confirm your email address with Scratch and you can do that by following your, checking your email. So once you have a Scratch project done, this is like a chase game that I made that my students have probably made by now. Um, you can hit C project page, so you click on that. And you should have a copy link. So you can do this one of two ways. I'm going to show you the first way, which is copy link. And then I'm going to show you how to embed it with HTML. So first we hit copy link. So we copy this down. This is really used for um, coding into your Google Sites. So next we're going to go into our Google Sites. So you might be making a website for me in our intro to computer science class or um, our intro to engineering design class or another class and we want to insert and in this case we want to insert um, and embed a URL and I'm going to hit control V to paste now you'll notice it says I can't do it so I want to hit backslash and type the word embed and all of a sudden the entire page pops up and I hit insert you can see it's all right there so you can make it smaller if you want I'm just gonna leave this as is I'm gonna hit publish you can see that the old website will pop up um, this is intro to engineering design I want to hit publish and then we can check out the link and we can see that, hey, there's, there's my intro to computer science. The game's on there. I can hit this green button and I can start playing and it starts counting. And then if the bat catches me, it catches there. Okay, so here's how you do it on coding side of HTML. So I'm going to do the same kind of start, make sure that my code's all done on Scratch. I'm going to go to copy link. I'm going to embed copy the embedded code there. And we've been using REPL as we've been coding. And you might, you should have, you should have a site here that is just for Scratch projects. And if I zoom this up and I say, all right, on my Scratch page so far, I have a simple how-to video, how to create that. And, and you might have something similar, but we want to start putting our Scratch projects into this page. So I am simply going to, again, from here, I copied the embed code and I right click or I hit control V. If I right click, then I go to paste. And then it's in my, in my code. So if I just refresh the page, it's right there. So it went side by side, which is fine. Um, we can get into the formatting a little bit later. If you want to simply just break it and put it right underneath, just hit the, do your, your break code, the BR in the brackets, hit refresh. It's simply right there. And again, you or anyone else that has your website can start playing your Scratch games. And you are almost done uh, with this. Now you just got to do this over and over with all of your Scratch projects. Good job. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or reach out to me. Have a great rest of the day.